Hey everybody, thanks for checking out my video today. What I'm going to be showing you is how to record your gameplay in 60 frames per second. Now, what you'll need is obviously an Xbox One. You'll need a PC running Windows 10. And it also has to be a decent powered PC. So it can't be like my laptop couldn't do it. It was a five-year-old laptop. I couldn't do it on that. Um, what I did do is you go to the PC. You launch the Xbox app. Once you get the app up and running, you go to Game DVR. So that's the first step. You open the app, go to the settings uh, for Game DVR. <clears throat> Once that's done, you go to the settings for the Game DVR. This is uploaded in medium quality because when I selected high quality, I don't know if it's my PC is just not strong enough. Like I said, I have a mid-range PC. It just didn't actually, um, it didn't take well. There was a lot of skips, a lot of tear. So I went ahead and switched it to medium, and it's a pretty fluid gameplay as far as that goes. So as far as frames per second, when you get to that setting, you want to toggle it to 60 frames per second. You want to select your record time. So I went ahead and selected, you know, 30 minute record time. <clears throat> you need your computer somewhat readily available to be able to pause it or to finish your recording. So have that ready. Once you get your settings straight, what you want to do is go to the Xbox One, turn it on, and go back to the PC and select connect to Xbox and start streaming. So once you select start streaming, everything that happens on your Xbox, you'll see it on your actual computer screen. What you do next is you press the Windows button, you press G, and there are, there's alternate commands for if you have a Mac. I just don't know how to use those. So Windows G, which brings up like a game menu. When that's up, you press record, and that's pretty much it. Presto, boom. So once you start your game recording, it records it in the same quality that it's seeing it as, which is much better than the Xbox One's quality. This one here, when I clocked it, it's at 58.29 frames per second. There's a little bit of pixelation and screen tearing, but I mean, that's pretty solid too, if you ask me. All right, now I wanna talk about the gameplay. This is my first game back on Black Ops 1. I ended up going 34 and one. Ended up with two Hueys, a set of dogs. Damn, I miss those dogs too, man. Because just these kill streaks on the new Call of Duty are not the same. So, there were 16,000 players online when I picked it up. There's definitely still people playing this game. It's still alive. It's still laggy as hell. <laughs> but it's still fun. So, if you ever want to see me on Black Ops 1, you know how to get me. Just hit me up on Instagram or leave me a comment on here. If you're not already a subscriber, I would appreciate it, you know. Drop a drop a sub for me, and if you like the video, give it a thumbs up.
almost got this. Push harder. Counter spy plane up. The line. Friendly spy plane inbound. Accomplished. Good work.